What's up guys, Sal here. So in the early years, HTC was one of the most impressive companies in the smartphone space. HTC was there at the beginning, producing some of the first Android handsets, the first Nexus handset, and launching the first handset that really added refinement to Google's new mobile operating system. It's a company that was known for two things, design and its Sense UI that's layered over the top of Android. At that time, the Sense UI showed the customization possibilities available with Android, which propelled HTC to even greater heights. In 2010, HTC launched the HTC Desire, a phone that was the first true iPhone rival on the market in the eyes of anyone who wasn't an Apple sheep. It had power, a clean design, and a lovely OLED screen to look at. By 2011, HTC was one of the biggest smartphone brands in the United States and in smartphone markets in general. Sales were increasing and things were looking rosy. But that meteoric rise was followed by fall, bringing us to today's position where HTC is basically non-existent. They are no longer relevant in the smartphone industry, which is sad for a company that has such a beautiful history. But now it looks like HTC is planning to make a return to the high-end smartphone segment. HTC has appointed a new CEO who was a former executive vice president of consumer equipment and partnership at Orange, so he knows a thing or two about how to sell a smartphone. He recently did an interview where he admitted that the biggest reason for their downfall in the smartphone market is that they have stopped innovating. He said, and I quote, HTC has stopped innovating in the hardware of the smartphone and people like Apple, like Samsung, and most recently Huawei have done an incredible job investing in their hardware. We didn't, because we've been investing in innovation on virtual reality. When I was young, somebody told me, to be right at the wrong time is to be wrong, and to be wrong at the right time is right. I think we've been right at the wrong time and now we have to catch up. We made a timing mistake. It's very difficult to anticipate the time. HTC made a mistake in terms of timing. It's a difficult mistake and we are paying for that. But we still have so many assets in terms of innovation, team and balance sheets that I feel we are recovering from the timing mistake. He further said that 5G is going to act as a catalyst for their growth. He said that HTC's focus going forward will be on countries with higher GDP, basically the flagship smartphones. He said, and I quote, the competition is changing. We're all having a situation where worldwide market share is going down and the customer is disappointed in not being able to have the latest Huawei phone anymore how to give our customers the ability to come back to what they wish. In terms of best-in-class hardware and photography, that HTC will try to solve in the next few months. Interesting stuff, the CEO looks focused and it's good that he's giving priority to their smartphone division. But reinventing itself won't be an easy task, especially after the fact that they've sold their main smartphone engineering team to Google. Look, it's always sad to see a once great brand falling from the peak of their smartphone game. But the reality is the market has shifted and HTC no longer has the scale to compete against the big dogs out there. But hey, a man can hope. Miracles happen, so I'm still gonna keep my fingers crossed and hope they would be able to reinvent themselves and be relevant once again. Do let me know your thoughts on this, and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.